Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jitin Udas, Assistant Professor at Institute of Language Teaching English Medium B at College Rajkot. And as you on screen, today we are going to learn about educational psychology. In Saurashtra University's syllabus, it falls into four course one, unit one. What are the learning outcomes? At the end of this lecture, you will know and understand the meaning of psychology, the concept of psychology, definitions of psychology, behavior and its types, psychology as a science, the concept of educational psychology, and lastly, the definitions of educational psychology. So let's start with the meaning first. First of all, let us discuss what is psychology. In Gujarati or Hindi, we call it Mano Vigyan. If we separate the two words Mano Vigyan, it likes Man Nu Vignan, Man Ka Vigyan. But what it is actually, let us see. Like psychology has become a separate and well-organized field of knowledge in all fields of social life. It wasn't previously, but now it has become a separate field. Previously to study human behavior and mind, there was a separate study subject, which was known as the mental philosophy. Philosophy, see the word mental philosophy, Mansik Tattvugnan. Aisa koi subject tha previously. But now, the current psychology, the today's psychology, is the offspring of this mental philosophy only. So, psychology is kind of mental philosophy. Okay, what is the literal meaning of psychology? Verbal meaning. Shabdik Arth. The word psychology has been derived from the two Latin words, psyche and logos. In certain books, you will find logo. In certain, you will find L-O-G-U-S, logos. But basically, psyche and Logos. Now, what is psyche? Psyche is soul or mind or consci consciousness, and logos is a rational discourse or study of something. So, psychology is a rational discourse or study of our mind. So, it's a study of mind, be it of human or animal. Now, what is psychology in modern context in today's state? What do we what do we define as psychology? In the modern context, the word study of human mind, which, which we had seen previously, has been replaced by the word science, which focuses on behavior. Now, in the modern context, psychology is considered the science of behavior. Mane vartan ka vikyan. Be that of humans or animals, as I said previously. So, in modern context, psychology is the science of behavior. It's a study of behavior. Let us see certain definitions. Like Pillsbury says, psychology may be most satisfactory defined as the science of human behavior. A very simple definition which can, which can, you can utilize it in your, uh, you know, in your BA exams when you are drafting an answer, and uh, further you can use it in your teaching uh, lectures also. Like so, this definition is very much useful and very simple definition. Like psychology may be most satisfactorily defined as how you can define it? It's a science of human behavior. Even Moon says psychology today concerns itself with the scientific investigation of behavior. Behavior vartan ka wo ek vigyanik shodh hai, sanshodhan hai. Vartan ka sanshodhan. That is psychology in the today's like in the modern context. Like what is behavior now? We had been reading behavior science of behavior and study of behavior what do we call behavior how can we define behavior like any manifestation of life is activity says Woodsworth and behavior is a collection of the activities activities ka jo collection hai wo kul mila ke jo hum activities karte hai usse banta hai hamara behavior and activities are of three types Three sorts of behavior in a way we find. One is cognitive activities, which are related to motor skills like walking, swimming, playing. Second is cognitive activities, which is which is related to mental things like thinking, reasoning, imaging. So cognitive activities, cognitive activities, and lastly it is affective activities, emotional activities, feelings like being happy, sad, angry. So the sum total of these three activities, cognitive, cognitive and effective that is behavior so behavior is a total of three activities is psychology a science there is a you know, an ever going debate uh, we you know we see the debate going on forever like is psychology a science or it's a 
simply a study of the, the theory part so what is psychology the, yes psychology is a science how we can define that so we can prove that like firstly it believes in the cause and effect relationship the way science or any stream of science believes it so the you know likewise like like science psychology also believes in cause and effect relationship karan karya karan sambandh secondly it searches for truth and facts about behavior and describes the causes governing them the way science does it the way science investigates the truth and the facts are about certain incident in the same way psychology also searches for the truth and facts behind certain behavior and describes the causes governing them means why such behavior why someone behaved this way so psychology in the same way scientific way describes the causes behind someone's certain behavior so that is also a second proof next it believes in systematic inquiry and rational approach rational means logical the way science believes in inquiry and the approach of science is rational very objective it's not subjective in the same way psychology also believes in systematic inquiry and rational approach so that makes our argument stronger and lastly and very important it has pure and applied aspects too the way science has pure science and applied science in the same way psychology is pure psychology also and applied the way like educational psychology is an applied aspect of psychology so yes we can define psychology as a science based on this points now let us understand what is educational psychology gujarati we call it shikshanik manovigyan in hindi again shikshanik manovigyan or shikshan ka manovigyan you can say that now like what is educational psychology educational psychology is an applied branch of psychology in educational setting the way we find management today hotel management hospital management school management so what do they do they apply the theories and principles of management into various fields like hotel so they applied the the dogmas of management into hotel if we talk about hospital management hospitality management they apply the theories of management into the the work pattern of hospital in the same way if we apply the theories of psychology in educational setting then it becomes educational psychology it implies the application of the principles and practices of psychology to the various dimensions of education education ke jo tarah tarah ke kon hai dimensions hai usme psychology ke jo siddhant hai jo practices hai usko apply karna that is educational psychology so educational psychology is an applied branch of psychology in one sentence you can answer this what is educational psychology it is an applied branch of psychology in educational settings so it is the scientific study of human behavior by which it can be understood predicted and directed by education to achieve goals of life so educational psychology is a scientific study of human behavior rather students behavior learners behavior by which the behavior can be understood to samjha samjha ja sakta hai predicted uski dharana ki ja sakti hai and directed use disha suchit kiya ja sakta hai education ke way se why to achieve goals of life zindagi ke jo diye hai life ke jo goals hai use achieve karne ke liye we provide education and education takes help of psychology to understand the learners mind so this is educational psychology right let us go through certain definitions of educational psychology it will be helpful to you in your two marks or three marks or five marks questions you can use this definitions firstly what skinner says skinner says educational psychology is that branch of psychology which deals with teaching and learning and also covers the entire range and behavior of the personality as related to education let us go through it again educational psychology is the branch of psychology we know it's a branch which deals with with what teaching and learning process okay great that also we know and also covers the entire range and behavior of the personality personality means student student's behavior 
विद्यार्थी का जो वर्तन है उसकी पूरी रेंज वर्तन के सभी कोण को एक कवर करता है जो एजुकेशन से रिलेटेड है सो इट स्टडीज द ह्यूमन द स्टूडेंट्स माइंड एंड गाइड्स इट इन द वे वेर एजुकेशन डिमांड्स इट सो Education psychology is that branch of psychology which deals with teaching and learning, and also covers the entire range and behavior of the personality as related to the education. If you don't remember the whole definition, you can remember the first part. Education psychology is that branch of psychology which deals with teaching and learning. Great. Secondly, Crow and Crow says educational psychology describes. and explains learning experience of an individual from birth to old age as we know education education is a continuous process it never ceases it never ends so educational psychology describes and explains not only describes describing is easier thing but explaining why certain person behaved in certain way so it also explains learning experiences of an individual from birth to old age Stephen says educational psychology is the systematic study of the educational growth and development of a child. It's a systematic study, as we know, it is a science, so it is systematic. It's a systematic study of the educational growth and development, pruthi or vikas ka ek systematic study hai child ka. Great. And lastly, E. A. P. L. says educational psychology is the science of education. This very simple and very very precise definition that it is a science of education so it defines or it helps to provide education or to receive education in a scientific way thank you very much for listening to this video i hope this will be helpful to you if you like it please share among your friends share among the students who are doing b ed who are doing the primary teachers course who are do uh, uh, preparing for c tat exams if it's in gujarat then tat or tat exams even for nat and gset exams and even the students who are doing amet they also be benefited from this video thank you very much this is institute of language teaching english medium beer college rajkot and stay tuned with us this is our website you can log into this and you can have uh, an, an array of such videos Uh, regarding different topics thank you very much keep reading keep sharing thank you